Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us discuss about integrating ASP.NET Core Web App with Azure Graph API. We can do this in multiple ways. Here I am showing you the most easiest and simple way. Here we are not using any Azure AD authentication. Azure Graph API is provided by Microsoft and we can use that API to get the user's information who are registered in Azure AD. Step 1. We have to create an app registration. We have to go to Azure AD app registrations and new app registration. Go to portal.azure.com. If you don't have an account in Azure, you can create one for free. And we have to go to the Azure Active Directory. And if this icon is not visible to you, you can search Azure Active Directory here. And we have to create an app registration. We can create from here or even we can create from here also. Choose app registration. And I'm writing here the name as Azure graph api demo app click on register this app registration acts as a placeholder inside azure ad each app registration is identified by an id azure uses this id to validate the application when it is running step 2 add a client secret in app registrations, we have to generate a client secret. Go to certificates and secrets. Click on new secret and I am giving the same name. Click on add. Copy the value somewhere because Microsoft or, or the Azure portal will not show you this value for long like you if, if you navigate from this page it may not show you the value so copy it and keep it somewhere step 3 grant graph api permissions go to api permission and we have to add a permission here, as we are using Microsoft Graph, we have to choose Microsoft Graph. And in Microsoft Graph, we can give two types of permissions. If we give delegated permissions, it uses the user who logged into the applications, users permissions who logged into the application. But in our application, there, there will not be any logged in user as we are not using any Azure AD. So we are choosing application permissions and here we are going to read all the users information so i am searching like something like user and if you scroll down here we have user and we have to we we have various permissions but uh, in this demo we are using user.read.all click on add permissions Now we have to provide admin consent. Now go to the API permissions and here we have to click on the admin consent for default directory. So as we are going to read all the users information, so admin has to give us the permission because here we are going to read the information of all the users. So this may be a, a kind of security risk so this should be no this should be informed to the admin so the admin has to give us the permissions but in here i am the admin as, uh, as this is a kind this is not related to any organization this is related to some practice application that i have created so i am granting the admin mm -hmm. consent for default directory after that it will show you the green tick over here. So now our application is ready to access the user's information. Step 5. We have to add NuGet packages and write code. We have to add Microsoft Graph NuGet package and write code. 
Here, I am creating a simple model view controller ASP.NET application and I am giving the name as Click on next. Create. Now, in the created solution, go to appsettings.json and here we have to add Azure AD configuration. For our demo, we can hard code all these details, but it's a good practice to configure the Azure AD inside appsettings.json. So I am writing Azure AD over here and we need few fields over here they are tenant id and client id and client secret generally if we add azure authentication we have to add more fields over here but for our application it is very simple so we are we just need only these three values and we can get these values from here so here we have the client id we can configure or configure it over here and this is the tenant id We can configure it over here and the client secret uh, as we have preserved it somewhere we can copy it and paste it over here now azure ad configuration is done now in the index page index controller sorry i'm adding the configuration as a dependency injection as we are going to get this as dependency injection i have added a constructor parameter and I am initializing over here now we have to get those parameters where client ID is equal to underscore configuration dot get value we are getting a string and here we have to write the path in the arc setting so it should be azure ad dot sorry it's not dot it should be a colon tenant id sorry it should be client id as we are getting the client id i'm just copying it three times as we have to get three parameters so i'm writing this as tenant ID and this is client secret. Here I am changing the values or the configuration names that we are going to get here. Now we have to create. Now we have to add Microsoft Graph Nugget package. You can go to Manage Nugget packages and here go to Browse. Click on Search box and search for Microsoft dot Graph. Install it. now we have to create graph service client now it is showing an error we have to add 
the namespace so it is showing a suggestion over here you can choose using microsoft graph and here we can write graph service client is equal to new graph service client it expects some parameters that we can see when we are creating this so it has multiple overloads or overloads and in this we are interested in using azure token credential so as this is expecting a token credential and as we are using application level permissions we have to use client secret credential so i'm creating new client secret credential so we have to add azure dot identity nugget package for this so i pressed control dot on this so it is showing a suggestion now i have choose find and install latest version so it installed latest version now it is expecting tenant id so we already have tenant id over here and we have client id and also we have client secret now we have to inject the client secret credential to the graph service client now i'm trying to get the users so we can use graph service client dot users dot request this is the syntax that we have to follow and here we have to use select and it expects a lambda and i'm going to get the display name now i'm running this application it did not return anything i think we are missing something over here we have to use we have to use get async dot result now i am running it again So now we got the user's information. Let us see. So there are three users inside. So the first user that we got is the display name is Azure user. And also it is showing two more users also here inside this list, inside this collection. So this is how we can get the users from azure api there are various ways to get this and this is not a kind of recommended approach we can use the graph api client using the dependency injection and in this application we are using application level permissions to use the graph api but we if if the if if we did not get the admin consent we have to use the delegated permissions so i'll create the videos on them as well your simple like and a subscription is a biggest encouragement for me so please like and subscribe to my channel if you like the video thank you